differential diagnosis, both Western and Chinese medicine, for irritable bowel syndrome, or IBS. Let's start with the Western differentiation. It is a complex and chronic disorder of the lower intestinal tract with no obvious cause. Commonly begins between the ages 20 and 30 and is twice as common in women as in men. Signs and symptoms are alternating constipation and diarrhea, a sense of incomplete emptying following a bowel movement, abdominal tenderness, abdominal distension and flatulence, burping, barbarigmus, nausea, emotional distress. Uh, IBS can stem from anxiety. So we have IBS with muscle tension, headache, sweating, dry mouth, difficulty swallowing, rapid or irregular heartbeat, frequent urination, irritability, poor concentration, and low libido. IBS stemming from depression will be accompanied by difficulty sleeping, dramatic change in appetite, fatigue, low self-esteem, poor concentration, restlessness, withdrawal from society, suicidal thoughts. IBS could stem from GI infection, that is gastroenteritis. So there will be nausea and vomiting, fever, loss of appetite, abdominal pain, and cramps, bloody stools. IBS could also stem from food allergy or intolerance. So there will also be nausea and vomiting, itching of the eyes, mouth and throat, hives, nasal congestion, runny nose, wheezing, difficulty swallowing, anaphylaxis if severe. Other terms for IBS include spastic colon, spastic colitis, mucous colitis, nervous diarrhea, nervous colon, nervous or functional bowel. Now let's go to the Chinese differentiation of IBS. So we have diagnostic questioning according to organ interrelationships. So it's a co-cycle relationship between wood and earth, between liver and spleen and stomach. Relative strength and weakness. IBS could be due to an earth and wood weakness. Nature of stool, small, round, and pebble-like. This is liver chi stagnation. If the stools are long and thin, this is spleen chi deficiency. If there is predominantly diarrhea with abdominal distension and discomfort, spleen chi deficiency. Predominantly constipation with abdominal pain, distension, and irritability. That's stagnation of liver chi. Alternating diarrhea and constipation with abdominal discomfort and distension. This is liver chi invading the spleen stomach, a co-cycle disorder. If there is mucus present in the stool, dampness or heat, or damp heat generated from chi stagnation and or chi deficiency. The main organs involved are the spleen, if there is diarrhea, liver, if there is constipation. Etiology for IBS in Chinese medicine, Emotional strain, manifested as stress, frustration, anger, bottled up hatred, worry, anxiety. Poor diet and irregular eating habits, that is eating late at night, eating whilst stressed, excessive mental activity, chronic illness, too much sexual activity, lack of exercise. Design food patterns for the excess, we have stagnation of liver chi turning into heat, liver chi invading spleen, liver chi invading stomach, dampness, phlegm dump, damp heat. Deficiency, spleen chi deficiency, spleen yang deficiency, and stomach chi deficiency. Thank you for your attention.